Hello everybody. So in this video I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do with the engine uh, electronics and controls. So I'm not going to use the uh, original ECU and uh, I'm going to explain why. So first I'm going to show you some bits. So as you can see here, these are the ECUs of the 600 engine. So as you can see here, we got the... Uh, hope you can see it. This is an engine control unit for a 12 cylinder and this also. But there are two. And there is also an e gas. So this is the electronic uh, throttles. The throttle bodies. This one. This is the one side and they got another one in the front where there are two. So you got a separate ECU for, the, for it. And you got the ASR, the traction control and that sort of stuff. This I don't know, but something else. But so, why there are two ECUs? So this engine is controlled as two separate engines. A left bank and a right bank. So, as you can see here also, there are two camshaft position sensors. One for one ECU and one for the other one ECU. This, uh, these sensors, I think they are for the cold start. Temperature sensor on this side. You got temperature sensor on this side. These uh, the cooling uh, temperature sensors are just uh, there's one. But if you will look on the back side, on the back, you can see here there are also two crankshaft position sensors. One on here, one here. You cannot see that inside, but there are also uh, left and a right bench uh, uh, knock sensors, two on each side. So everything is double. So the, uh, the controls are also double, so this engine runs as two separate ECUs. Also what is uh, uh, different is that the throttle controls are uh, done by the E-gas ECU and that sends the signals to the throttle cylinder ECUs. So it's a very complex and old system I think. So personally I'm going to, I think it's easier to uh, use a separate ECU because you don't have to deal with three different ECUs, you only have to use one ECU. So what also is a very known thing in these engines is that this, the wiring is going bad, the engine wiring. So this uh, wiring loom is very, very good, very good condition, I think it's almost new. But they uh, break down, so what does it mean? That the, the covering over the wire is leaving off. And then, uh, yeah, you just got an, uh, you got all kinds of faults with the engine controls. And the same problem is also with the throttle bodies. And uh, don't forget, these throttle bodies are really expensive. I think they are, I thought they were around 3,000 euros when you want to buy a new one from the dealer. So it's really expensive. So that's, each bank has one throttle body, so very expensive. So I'm just going to uh, go to get cable throttle bodies and uh, that would, would be much easier also because I'm going to use a different transmission. I'm going to use a different uh, automatic transmission, 7.22.6, the 5-speed. That was also on the later models on these engines. So you can see also here that it has, uh, each uh, bank has its own uh, ignition uh, unit, ignition module. Here's another one. So yeah. I think it's too complex to use uh, the original ECUs and I'm just going to change these four ECUs for just one ECU to control. So I'm going to uh, uh, build my own uh, uh, wiring loom and uh, get rid of all the sensors I don't need and then uh, the controls uh, I think is pretty, uh, pretty much uh, easier to do. All also because I'm going to use a different transmission. In this car is uh, normally the uh, 722 free transmission and I'm going to for a uh, 5 speed so I also uh, need uh, some, some inputs for the, for the transmission. So if there are any questions about this uh, subject leave some comments below the video and uh, don't forget to subscribe to my page. There's a little button in the corner, if you click on it you go to my main page and uh, have a look there also very nice other videos. So, thanks for watching, see you next time, bye bye.